from verse 8. And Deuteronomy chapter 5. He said, I will follow the iniquities of the fathers from the first generation to the fourth generation to them that hate me. Lamentation chapter 5 verse 7. He said, our fathers sin, they are no more, but we bear the punishment of their iniquity. So let's say, for example, that mama cried and died. Hello? Cry. And your father was the one that took her money. You will always suffer. The curse will move on your head and move on your children, children. You will just realize that's the reason why some people are suffering. Because they are suffering to pay the debt of their parents. You will walk as a bambe. You will put strong. You will walk farm. Farm of tomato. Others people will steal. You will walk with a man. You people will build a house. The man will not marry you. We marry another woman. After staying 10 years. After having 5 children. With the man. The man will look for another lady. Why? You are paying the errors of your parents. God will forgive you. But the punishment of sin. The repercussion of sin will follow you. So can I tell you the truth? If you're here, you are a prostitute, you think you are living life. Sorry, oh, your child will sleep with your father, with your husband. Because the prostitution will be so strong. I've seen a girl that slept with the, with the father, with the stepfather. I told the mother that the only person I admire is your husband. Drop the father and slept to him. Love the man, but he said, if he doesn't sleep with the father, he told the mother, he said, time has come for us to be sharing this man. He's the only one I love. So when they came that the girl is possessed, while I was standing the thing, I said, no, the girl is not possessed. Mother, you were a street prostitute. She said, yes. I said, you, you prostitute until you own a man's wife. He said, yes. I said, the woman told you on the street. He said, you will never be, you will never have peace in your home. He said, yes. He said, but pastor, that thing happened about 13 years ago. I said, no, the tears of a man can never die. He cries. That's why the Bible says, God was talking to pay. He said, your brother Abe is, is dead. He said, but I can hear the voice of his blood. Crying from the ground. Vengeance is really my sister. Keep doing your evil. It's okay. Keep doing your error. It's okay. But the day you will put to bed a child you will love, you will watch that child go through agony, paying for the errors you have done. I don't know who is hearing my voice. So, the God sent me to help somebody. Amen. Yes, there are many who are hearing my voice around the bushes, around the house. I'm talking to you. Any evil you do, you will pay for it. Amen. Amen. You will pay for it. Yes. So, number one, family curses, foundational errors will give you. Amen. As you see, like this, you are prosperous by the giftings of God. Amen. But there are things that cannot allow you to prosper. Looking at the backwardness, just look behind. See, can I tell you? There are two things that help me. Can I tell you the two things? Yes, Number one, I don't forget where I'm coming from. Yes, sir. When I look at my mother, I don't stop praying. When I look at my brothers, I always know that I have a responsibility to take care. So when others go and drink and they drunk, I can't drink like them. I know there's a responsibility I carry. Number two, I know the family, the village I'm coming from is backward. If there is a name that should reign in our village, it should be my name. So that my family will have respect. These two things has guided my life throughout. Anytime I think of my mother, where we are coming from, that we don't have helpers, others we steal, I will tell them, I have a destiny. I won't steal. Is somebody getting me? Yes, somebody shout transgenerational curse. Can I pray for you? Yes, Anyone here that is under a curse, that is moving from you, your a grandfather to your life, as your amen done that you are delivered. Yeah. I prophesy. Anyone that is hearing my voice, wherever you are, if you hear my voice. Any transgenerational curse. Mareta curse, financial curse that move upon your family. Uh -huh. As so amen, we don't receive deliverance. Amen. Amen. The Bible said there was a curse in the family of Reuben, put by their father Jacob in Genesis 49. And the Bible said in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses came. He said, Let Reuben live. 
and not die. It means that when a curse is risen within the family, there is a prophet that can break it. The Bible says in the book of Hosea, it says when God wants to deliver people, he sends a prophet. And by